If you want to do it like me, this is how I do it. It's not that complicated. Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to do a hopefully very quick and easy hair tutorial for this hairstyle. I've gotten a ton of requests for it since, I don't know, the beginning of time. I lovingly refer to it as my Cher Horwitz from Clueless hairstyle. Um, I don't know, there's a couple of scenes where she has like a little mini half up do and then there's like little bits hanging down here. It's very cute where she has like the fluffy pen and she's like in the boy. If you're obsessed, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, whatever. And I feel like I'm gonna disappoint you guys because it's not hard at all. I do this when I don't feel like really doing anything or if it looks like crap when it's down. But I'm gonna do my best to explain it so it's just as easy for you. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Taking it down, taking it down with two bobby pins only. All right, my hair is down. This is what it looks like, just basically doing nothing. I washed it yesterday morning, so it's still relatively clean. I did use a little bit of dry shampoo earlier, Baptiste, very nice. And before that, yesterday, I used the L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. You guys know I like this stuff because I tease my hair with a comb like this. I did all of this yesterday because it was fresh out of the shower. And so, you know, my hair has some stuff in it. It's got some kind of style going on. All right, so basically I just kind of like use my pointer finger and I take the front section kind of like this. It is not technical at all. There is no rhyme or reason to this. I just take kind of a small section starting from a little bit above my ear. So I leave a little bit over my ears. You don't necessarily have to but that's what I do. I section that off and I kind of separate it out, gotta keep them separated. All right, and you do kind of the exact same thing on this side. And obviously there's more hair on this side because I part my hair on this side, but don't go further back. It's not that complicated. And since it's teased, it's all stuck together. I definitely think this works better for me when it's like second day hair. And oh my gosh, I hope you're laughing at how tangly my hair is right now. <laughs> did not prepare. I like how I completely skipped over like, brush your hair out and be a nice lady. You don't need to do that. Not for my hair tutorials. I got this section going. I got this section going. You ready? You ready? Here comes the scary part. It's not scary, just kidding. It doesn't always come out right. It doesn't ever come out the same. It's always got like lumps and bumps, but that's just gotta be okay with you because that's, that's how I do it. If you want to do it like me, this is how I do it. Okay, so basically I kind of keep this section still separate and I just like pull it up. Do you see what's happening here? It's just like, oh, come together. And I don't like pull them straight back. And then I kind of twist it. You see, I bring the two pieces together and then I twist it and then I lay it down and then I grab a bobby pin I don't know how to make this seem any more complicated than it is. And then I just bobby pin it. You see? You see what's happening? It is incredibly, incredibly simple. And then you're, you're done. That's how it works. If you want to make it extremely clueless style, you can bring down your little baby hairs here, which is something that I like to do. Sometimes if I feel like I don't have enough volume around and I want to make it look like a little bit more like ooh la la, I tried really hard, I will tease a little bit around. And then another thing that I do like to do when I wear my hair like this is curl it. It makes it look extra fancy. But again, totally not necessary. And even when I curl it, I just like barely try. I don't know how to try. I try really hard with my makeup and then on my hair I'm like tired. I just get worn out and I'm just like whatever. It wants to do, I'm cool with it. And there you have it. This is what it looks like when it's curled. Definitely still looks good when it's like more straight, but it's either way. The back is pretty simple. I, I don't know what it looks like right now because I haven't looked at it. Not a fan of looking at the back of my head. I don't know what's going on back there. It doesn't hurt my feeling if it looks weird. You might not like it, but I'm not gonna see it. I'll show you. Here we go. Is it bad? Is it terrible? I hope it's not. It's probably okay. All my hair is pulled to the front anyway, so who knows. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's gonna be easy for you. Don't forget to like it if you liked it, and um, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below if you do this whole hair thing to yourself and you post a picture on like Facebook or Instagram or Tumblr or whatever, Twitter, anything, 
tag me. It's at Leanne Says like everywhere. I love seeing what you guys come up with. I think you guys are geniuses and you're beautiful on your faces. You can also subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my new videos as they come out. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you and you are my people. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Does it look good to you? And when it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't know. Fluff it up. What I'm doing is unnecessary. Hey. And this one is like a fake matte. I don't know. It's really weird. It's like a nice tan. It's got a little bit of sparkle. It's weird. It's sneaky. Like all the shadows. And then it also has a bronzer and two different blush options.